Hey everyone, Steve the Miner here. Welcome to the next part of my series on how to find crystals, gemstones, and precious metals. I'm on Chief Mountain, location of the world famous Ocean View Gem Mine, and I'm going to talk about alluvial mining today. In my last video on this subject, I talked about how you may encounter alluvial deposits in nature. But where I'm at today, there's actually man made alluvial deposits from the mining process. Behind me is the Paula Chief Mine, and it's been mined since the 1800s, late 1800s. You can see some tailings behind me though. It's very unnatural. It's not like a normal rock slide. And when you encounter these, you actually have the chance of finding gemstones that the old miners left behind. Here at the Ocean View Mine, we actually have a fee dig called the Paula Chief Dig, where you get to come here, bring your own tools, and you can kind of go through, you can walk the roads. There's plenty of little sun bakers found all the time. Or you can dig up in these tailings. Just across this valley from the Pala Chief is Queen Mountain. You can see the Tourmaline Queen Mine near the peak on the right side. It's pretty obvious where they are dumping their tailings, but this is a great example of natural and unnatural alluvial deposits where the natural will likely be in the gulches in the middle and towards the left, and the unnatural obviously on the right where the miners were dumping their stuff. Another way you can tell if you're encountering unnatural alluvial deposits is the rocks on the ground. This is not natural. People were obviously throwing these over the side as they dig. And at the fee dig here, that's exactly what they're doing. They're just digging through the ground, tossing these rocks over, looking for gemstones that have settled. There's a few good things about coming to a place where there used to be a mine. For one, you know what minerals will be found there. Another thing is you know exactly where the hard rock deposit is, so it's real easy to find the alluvials off of that. At some locations, like here at the Paula Chief or the Ocean View Mine, you can actually pay to come in and someone like me will help you identify rocks, help you with what you're looking for, suggest digging styles and even tools. If you're interested in that, come check out our website, digforgems.com. And if you'd like to talk to me personally about it, contact Ocean View Gem Mine on Instagram. I'd be happy to help. One thing you should know about any location you're gonna prospect is what kind of host rock are the gems gonna be in. In this case, it's complex granite pegmatite. It's granite with larger grains. So if you see this or any associated feldspars, you're in the right place. And just across this road here, there's a berm and a little bit of a slide that has some of those rocks. That's a good place to start. Just as I've mentioned before in previous videos, you're gonna wanna do your research. Knowing what rocks to look for, what to expect from the terrain, how much food and water to bring, what tools to bring. These are all very important factors. And when you're out there, you may have to go off trail. A lot of people have picked the ground clean before you got there, so going into the bushes is a must sometimes. So knowing how to build a proper cairn may help you get back on trail or return to a spot where you found some gems. Thanks for joining me here on Chief Mountain. Look for my next video on hard rock mining. I'll see you there.